And recipe number one, chicken dim sum with coconut buns and cucumber pickle and hosen sauce. What? <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Dear Jamie, the YouTube cooking show where uh, we work our way through Jamie Oliver's 15-minute cookbook. I'm your host, Chris. On today's special episode, we're making the first recipe in the book, chicken dim sum with coconut buns. Dim sum, as uh, some of you may know, is a Chinese dish that's served with dumplings and a lot of little taster dishes. Uh, if you didn't know that, don't worry, I had to Google it myself. I'll be doing my best to follow Jamie's recipe as closely as possible, but like all things here on Cook Like Chris, this is really my first time making it, uh, and I shoot this in real time. I don't make multiple dishes. So the food that you see me make and prepare and plate and taste is all the same dish. Um, it's also what I'm gonna eat uh, once I'm done shooting for lunch. So without wasting any more time, let's check out what we need. Okay, for the coconut buns, we'll need a can of coconut milk. We'll need two of those cans worth of self-rising flour. We're going to need uh, two chicken breasts. I have three just because I bought a pack that has three in it and I don't want to waste them. We'll need five ounces of mushrooms, three tablespoons of hoisin sauce, two limes, one bunch of broccolini, which I'm shocked that I actually found in the store one English cucumber, one tablespoon of reduced sodium soy sauce, one tablespoon of white wine vinegar, half of this bunch of cilantro, three tablespoons of raw sesame seeds, three tablespoons of pickled ginger, and lastly, one or two fresh red chilies. All right, so that's all our ingredients. Uh, it's time to put this together. Okay, first thing we're gonna make is our buns. What we've got to do is pour the coconut milk into the processor. Then we're going to add two heaping cans of self-rising flour. We're going to whiz it to a dough. Then dip it into our flour dusted work top. The dough is really sticky, it doesn't just pour out. Um, I don't know if I did anything wrong, maybe I added too much flour to it. Uh, but I've just been working it out with a spatula. Be careful though, because I did cut myself on the processor blade, trying to get all the dough out. We're going to roll our dough out into a sausage uh, shape. All right, now that that's rolled out, we're going to cut it into eight equal pieces. Once we've cut it into pieces, we're gonna put them into our liners and then put those liners into our steamer. Once that's done, we're gonna put it onto our steamer. Of course, I don't have a wok or a bamboo steamer. I'm just gonna use my big steamer. Uh, so we're gonna put those on and then we're gonna steam those until they're hard. Next, we're gonna cut the chicken and toss those into a bowl. We're going to toss in our mushrooms, our roughly torn mushrooms into that as well with a pinch of salt on top. Put those in with our broccolini into our second layer of our steamer and pop underneath the tray of buns for five minutes until cooked through. Now we're gonna peel our cucumber into ribbons, though I don't really know how to do that, so I guess we'll just use the knife. Now we're gonna just throw this into the bowl with our uh, soy sauce, our vinegar, and some of our cilantro leaves. Um, and now I'm gonna, now it says I'm supposed to crunch this together with my hands to turn it into a pickle. So let's try this out. I'm, I'm not sure if this is right. I, I guess. Uh, next, we're going to toast some sesame seeds on our, on, in a frying pan. 
Now that our sesame seeds are golden brown, we're going to tip them into the bowl. Oh. I read that wrong. I'm supposed to tip them into their own little bowl, not into the pickle bowl. Uh, luckily, I like sesame seeds, so I don't mind that through there. Uh, we're going to cut the remaining lines into wedges and serve it with our pickled ginger and extra hosen sauce in little bowls on the side. All right, so it's it's been quite a bit longer than um, you know, 15 minutes for these guys. I don't know if it's because of my steamer or uh, some step that I missed, but they gotta be done now. So uh, I'm just gonna turn this off and check it out. Um, I think it's ready, which only leaves one more thing to do and that's to test these out. So let's do it. So this all looks great. It smells great. It looks interesting. I'm not sure exactly how I'm supposed to eat it. Um, I've never really had dim sum before, um, but uh, let's try it out, shall we? Try some of the bun first. Yeah. I mean, it's a coconut bun. It's good. And it's cooked all the way through some of my uh, pickle here. It tastes like a cucumber with sesame seeds on it. It's not bad. Um, you know, if it only took me 15 minutes to make, I wouldn't be so, it would be better. It did take me a lot longer, so much so that I'm actually starving now. So I'm just gonna like keep eating my lunch here. <laughs> Thanks again for joining me on Dear Jamie. Uh, it was a lot of fun to try out the first recipe in his 15 minute meal cookbook. It did take longer than 15 minutes. Um, that's cause you know, I'm a little bit disorganized, I guess. Uh, if you like what you've seen today, please like and subscribe. Remember, you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll be attempting more of Jamie's 15 minute meal recipes in the future. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. So until next time, see you later. Oof. Dear Jamie, I just made your chicken dim sum recipe from 15 minute meals. It definitely took me longer than that to make. Phew. I hope to get better. I'd love to know what you thought of my technique. Sincerely, Chris Cook.